divisional staff had vanished. Other units would not have us. The Poles entered Brody and were beaten out by a counterattack. We came up to the town cemetery from behind the graves, emerged a detachment of Polish scouts. Shouldering their rifles, they fired at us. Grishuk turned back, his cart strilled with all four wheels. Yeah. Grishuk! I called out through the whistling wind. Some fun. He called back more than me. <laughs> We're done for. I. I shouted, seized with rapture of doom. We're done for, Dad! <laughs> What's the good of wearing women? Wings. Women. <laughs> oh, women. What's the good of women taking all the trouble? He answered still mournfully. What's the good of wooings, marryings, and the gossips of what? Making <laughs> merry at the wedding feast. <laughs> It's a Russian story, it's not supposed to make sense. <laughs> a rosy trail flared up and in the sky and died out. The Milky Way came in sight among the stars. Grishuk. Makes me laugh. Said Grishuk mournfully and pouted, pointed his whip at a man sitting by the roadside. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Why do all the women take all the trouble? The man sitting by the roadside was Dolgashov. You are sitting by the roadside. The roadside is there. <laughs> the man sitting beside the roadside was Dolgashov, the telephonist. His legs spread. He was staring at us. <laughs> that is how it is. He said when he had come up, when we had come up, Understood. I'll be finished. Understood? Understood. Said Grishchuk, pulling up the horses. You must use up my cartridge on me. Said Dolgashov. He sat, leaning against a tree. His boots were thrust out, uh, were thrust out apart. Without taking his eyes off me, he carefully peered back his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> His belly had been torn out, his intestines were crawling out onto his knees, and you could see the heartbeats. Uh, <laughs> the Bullocks will ride up, they'll have that fun with me. Here are my papers, we'll write to my mother how and what. No. I answered, <laughs> of course. spread his blue palms out on the ground and examines them incredulously. <laughs> Sneaking off? He muttered, sliding down. Sneak off, you bastard. Sweat trickled down my body. The machine guns were rattling away faster and faster. This hysterical obstinacy. Rings with the halo of sunset, a von Gabira was galloping towards us. We're giving them a bit of a breaking over. What sort of show He do shouted you gaily. <laughs> what sort of a show do you have here? I pointed Dogashov out to him and rode off a little. They had a brief talk. I couldn't hear the words. Dogoshov handed his regimental book to the troop commander. Afonka hid it in his boot and shot Dogoshov in the mouse. <laughs> I did that because this way he wanted to kill Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Afonia, said I with a pitiful smile and rode up to the Cossack. I just couldn't. Be off. He said, turning pale. I'll kill you, you guys and specs have as much pity for us as a cat for a mouse. And he cocked his rifle. I rode off in a walk without turning around, sensing cold and death with my back. Hey, you! <laughs> Shot a grishuk from my behind. <laughs> <laughs> And he grabbed a Fonka by the arm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the scum? Cried Afonka. You won't get away from me. Chris caught up with me at the turn in the road. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> you catch up with him. <laughs> Afonka <laughs> was not to be seen. He had ridden off the opposite direction. There, you see, Grishuk. I said. Today I have lost Afonka, my very first friend. Grishuk took a wizened apple out from his seat. Yes. He said to me. Yes, please. And that is the end! <laughs> <laughs>